Greetings and salutations everyone, I'm Ekamak. This is Let's Play Dark Side Detective Stumble in the Dark. In the last episode we finally found a lead. It's not a very good lead, it's a psychic who is rather untrue. She's 70% sham, but there's a 30% chance that she might actually know what she's talking about. The downside is that the place that they brought us to there's a note from the city saying that due to advancements in technology, people will no longer need to speak to each other. Go figure, the one place that we can get our, we, our one lead on Dooley is slated for demolition. I'm loving the haunted vibes of this place. I definitely bring some classmates here for an ill-fated game of truth or dare. So this is the place. I hope these guys haven't torn it apart. I mean... I'm seeing they maybe haven't. Why is this place being demolished? Obsolete technology, I guess. Where it came from on, uh, up on high to tear it down, so we're tearing it down. Oh, I actually saw some oglitchery for this earlier. Oglitchery. I can see a lot of wandering the city in your future, so I'm just going to wait here and make sure they don't tear this place down until you're done. Uh, what was that? What were what? There we go. That is an achievement. You have to come here. You have to come up to the top of this building as soon as possible for a chance to see a ghost. You're not supposed to be able to see ghosts, but I think they just threw that idea out the window pretty early. Were you talking to a ghost? Ha! Ghosts, uh, pull to other one. Ghosts, this guy. Ha! Huh. Broadcasting antenna brindle hangs out a signal in Morse code. As a science person, I can attest to the correctness of this technology. The broadcast. Oh right, uh, yeah, this is just one big antenna. Boy, you can't have my tools. Need them for work. The receiving dish scoops up all the noise in the area and passes it into calls and secret messages. Man at work. Didn't Dooley have a big uh, and involved speech about what, how these uh, what construction signs are actually part of I-Masons? A secret society for... Well, whatever nefarious purposes he said they were for. Did you see that? That was definitely ghost activity. I feel a strange energy up here. I don't think you need to worry about whether the power has been flipped off or not. That's why you're not authorized to be here, you're walking safety hazard. Whoa, hands off, you're not authorized to touch this stuff. I'm going to have to clear this place out if I want to examine this switchboard. This place doesn't look like it's going to be standing for much longer. I guess I can't look at the vending machine as is. Not much in here, just police tape. You receive crime scene tape. By the power invested in me, I declare this site off limits. My franchise and spooked is to solve mysteries. I hate the right mouse button being skip everything. I know that speedrunners like it, but it keeps costing me dialogue that I and it forces me to have to replay cases.
Everybody out! I guess it's time for tea. I'll get the kettle on. Broken vending machine. If Dooley was here, he'd want to know if there was anything in the pool in this. Nope. Yeah, she's still up to normal tricks. This is the device, but they seem to have torn it apart. The wires are gone. We needed to make the connection between this world and that. There should be a dark side phone book, so we should know who to call. Without a transceiver, you've no way to send or receive messages. Without all the missing pieces, there's no way to reach your friend. Can you tell me where to find them? Ah, uh, look, you're pushing. Uh, look, you're pushing your luck, mate. Go do some detectivating, yeah. So yeah, that one glimpse of ghost is the closest you can get. Was that Gale, the ghost from the library? Good to see you again, detective. What's the time he made to got this place all closed up for? Oh, uh, the death of telecommunications? See? We both got secrets to keep. Yeah, it's a good point. We really shouldn't. We don't have the authority to do this anymore. And he shouldn't be messing about with ghosts. Even less in here now. I see you've already stripped some of the materials from here. We need to trace that stuff for the investigation. Do you have a record of where it's gone? Sure, I have a manifest of what's been taken and where we send it to. This says the book was sent to an auction house for resale. The wires seem to have been scrapped. The transceiver's listing has been scratched out. I wonder where it went. Pictures my kid drew for the me. I stick them up around the place, but that would be a fire hazard, so I keep them in this neat pile. The old water steamer. I'd offer you a cup of coffee, but I made tea. Which you also can't have. Sorry, city council is only budgeted, budgeted for one mug per site. That tea is so strong it's stringing some of the Boromi It's stained some Boromian rings onto the table. That's nothing. Gary once stained a sephiroth onto some architectural plans and summoned an angel. Have you ever tried to get a safety hat onto an angel? They're all eyes and wings and spinning rings. Hats don't come in those sizes. Ah yes, biblically accurate angels. Sorry, employees only. Oh, is that where you hide your secret plans? What? No, we climb in there for private time. A list of all the health and safety violations you've committed since you got here. This is where we keep our bricks. I like it, it's cozy. Hey, don't mess my hair! Need anything else, just ask. But like, just ask. Only ask. Don't expect a reply or anything. We're forbidden by city regulations to provide more than one unit of help. Any idea where the transceiver went? It's been marked off this list. That's odd. I'm not sure, sorry. Hmm. A transceiver is missing from the manifest. Any idea where it went? Nope, nada, nada. Can't help you, sorry. So where to begin the search? We can still go to the junkyard. I mean, we can still go to the TV station if we want. It says, beware the, then dogs is scratched out and they've written in animals. I've got a good feeling about that. Yeah. How welcoming. No, no, long coat back again. Too smelly and pockets, no, no, like. These guys? I thought they were locked away. No way, are these gremlins? Like, for real? As in everything they touch breaks? That's them. Dooley and I locked them away safely in a magic garden in the station, though. 
Not sure how they got here. This box is labelled Dark Side Trash. Hey, this is a box of my stuff! The gang must have thrown our case files out when the division was closed down. I might explain how the gremlins came to be here. I bet one matching pair of socks that this will find its way into my local laundrette inside the, of the next seven days. Who owns a pair of matching socks? All my socks match. If I end up with a stray sock, it goes into the naughty bag. Matching socks are like the front of cereal packets. It's a serving suggestion. I hope we find Dooley soon. This partnership is never going to work out. Hey! Do they really break any machines though near? Not just machines. Everything around them falls apart. When they were loose in the police station, it was crumbling to pieces. That's neat! Neat in a bad way? There's a family of raccoons in here and they do not seem happy to see us. I was hired to get a ghost out of a truck once. Turned out it was just pigeons roosting in it. They were ghost pigeons, but still, just not that exciting. Smell food, po 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 like that. I think they're hungry. Po po buzz buzz, no feel fingers no more. You're still breaking every machine you touch, I see. A half used can of solvent. Soon to be a fully used can. Carton of spoiled food. Stupid lady only give good food, want junk food, what good junkyard with no junk food? Stay away sticky fingers, grab no going pants again. Would it help if any if I said he was unconscious at the time? No, no it wouldn't. Bleep 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 bleep, me like noise machine, bleep bleep. He had one of these when I was a kid. I should not have been driving so young. I wonder if I can fit a horse's ghost to this and get it running again. Is that the car that we crashed into the side of the water tower? Uh, wait a minute! The cop car! I wonder what happened to that. It's McKing's car that we trashed in that very same case. Look, there are the wires! Oh no, they're gonna get crushed, we need to stop this machine! Excuse me! Sorry, I can't hear you over the pistons pre-pressuring for my next crash. Damn it, we don't have much time. We don't have much time, we need to get this machine offline fast. That machine's to be repressuring its pistons to go again. We need to find a way to break the crusher before it flattens the wires. How are we going to break something that size? I don't know, but this is a junkyard, there's got to be something around here we can use. There they are, but I can't reach them through the fence. It's locked. Ploys only! Fortunately, this isn't under a time limit, so we can take our time finding our getting our hands on some proper food for the gremlins. Because obviously, if we break it with the gremlins, what else would we break it with? Morty sandwiches, I've eaten hot dogs, rock hard porridge, kill your festering food needs met here. Twin Lakes Fire purveyor of gone off food. Is that a thing? A thing people want. Who wear auction houses like old things? Why not old food? I serve gourmet food sourced only from locally from the bins of Twin Lakes finest restaurants, a fraction of the price. Here, try some stale pizza crusts on the house. Thanks. It's a good thing that we have enough time to drive there and back again. This should lure the gremlins out here. Now to figure out a way to grab those wire. Not so fast! 
That's cheating! Give those back! Nah, uh I'm sick of these boys breaking my machines. If you want these wires, you need to find me something stronger tech to power all of this. I'm not talking to you to have what I want. Something sturdy to replace what got broken here. <sighs> Fine. I wonder if I can smash some stuff here. An ex of mine left some things I'm pretty sure he wanted destroyed. I guess if we want those wires, we better get her something she wants. A broken bit of a pillar. That still looks functional. How do we save it? <laughs> no belt match for Spike. Big machine tastes like metal. Yum yum pig's bum. It's broken now. I need to find some sturdy tech to repair this with so she'll release the wires. Can't see a way to get to the other side of that fence. If those gremlins have their shots, the old one might have tetanus now if not. Junior was playing with the joy child but it seems the screen is broken. There's only sound coming out of it now. It's safer if less exciting now. Okay, let's check this place out. Yog Sotheby's. Yog Sotheby's auction house, where even your sanity has a price. Is it just me or does this looking at this make you feel like you're in another dimension? The bubbles, they're so round. So many dimensions. So how much for this Faberge acorn? Let me see. Wow, the colouring, the fine detail, the... Wait a second! It's fake! It has the wrong number of scales painted on the cupel. Oh, I can fix that, not a problem. I'll just add a few more. There are already too many! So I just ruined the scene, but that's uh, Emily's dad from the Christmas case. He's still up to no good. This painting looks like us, but in some green foggy place. I wouldn't stare at that for too long. The world's first ever trophy, awarded to the artist for trophy making. This claims to be the horned skull of an imp. Sawn from a stone in England. That explains the missing tip. Morning light is beautiful. Not as beautiful as the items in today's auction. That looks like the book we need. It has confusing scribbles of a dark side artifact. There's no way I can just take the thing with all the security. I guess I'll need to find something to swap it with. Even a few pages would be enough. If he's just going to trash that, we might as well take it. You always take stuff from the trash. Oh yes, most of it's not even useful. I have a lot of broken light bulbs, chewed gum and old receipts in here. Oh, I'm banned from all the good dry cleaners. Fake Vaporage icon. The crap people spend her money on. Think of all the healthcare that could have been bought with this money. 
You can't put universal health care on a plinth in your foyer and use it to make your rich friends feel less a young lady. Well, I don't feel so bad that we're going to scam you in the near future. I never noticed before, but you look a little bit like Caesar. Et tu, Raxa? That sure is a painting. It sure is. Whatever it's meant to be, it sure looks like that. Apply to face for possession. This soul jar contains seven souls, one of which is very good and two are very bad. This would be a great to play games on. Just think how crisp our pixels would look on something this size. The auctioneer's podium. That's probably the only place I can even get my actual hands on pages from the book. If we have something to replace them with, that's where we could do the switch. The auctioneer's podium, yeah, yeah, yeah. Not another one. Look, the auction isn't happening until the auctioneer's back. Back? From where? I don't know. I think if we went to one of the piers to get cookies or something equally rubbish and irresponsible. Oi! Auctioneer's only back there. No ammo, no enter. This place is so fancy, it has to be sinister. Okay, we're supposed to add the pier to our collection of places that we can go. Unfortunately, I cannot remember how to start that, so maybe we have to go past the TV station again. I'm going to remove the extra scales peak draw on this. Real Faberge Acorn. Well, I see you guys are still causing trouble. You're awfully close, little guy. The closer we are, the less this is my questions after to travel, the more I can ask. That's guaranteed science. I should leave. Not here to stop me from touching it now, are you, Marv? What are you doing to that innocent camera? Nothing. I guess we retrace our steps and see what we missed. Well, we have the solvent and acorn mixed together, so I guess we give it to you? Nope. The things people will try to sell us is if we're some kind of pawn shop. Some guy tried to sell me a homemade clearing with strange markings. Damn it, McKing! Another tried to give us a slimy computer saying it belonged to a lake monster. Damn it, Dolly! And another tried to sell us a bald cap and fungal beard saying it was from another dimension. Damn it, me! Your adventures bring you all over the city. I've never been anywhere like this before. Uh, usually they're set in one place, but we blew the budget on this first case to impress the audience. It's all down here from here. Case 4 is set in a kitchen cupboard. I don't actually remember what case 4 is, but I do know that we don't have any kitchen cupboard cases. This chair is worth more than my entire apartment. Mine too. Hey guy, is this being auctioned today? No, that's part of the normal setup here. Not for sale. That's a shame. You just lost out on seeing me underbid and getting out price almost immediately.
Wait, a console with a broken screen. Great tunes though, if you don't find use for it, I'm taking it as a shower radio. Goldy, a goldeny brownish stone. That's methylite, also known as honeystone. I accidentally took a geology course instead of geomancy. You know what, I bet I have to poke around the switchboard a bit more. I think I'm missing something with that plan. Oh. Tyrese is inside. The office must be open now. Yeah, I had a feeling we weren't going to be allowed to do that either. Oh wait, wait, wait. Crystal ball. Wait, I can see something. It says, hands off. I do remember that we have to use this makeup, but I think we bring things we use with makeup to the makeup rather than the other way around. Plastic flowers in a card that look like they've been here for years. A poster of Mystic Mystique with some fans. Mystic Mystique's fans in poster form. An empty can of paint looks like they're freshening up the room. An empty fire extinguisher. In case of fire, burn. We're halfway to a real interview show with this. Coffee comes separately, it seems. Yep, we've hit that point again where I just can't remember this thing. This case, this is a much harder first case than the first case of Darkseid Detective 1. But on the upside, now that I've wasted about four minutes, I can look up the solution offline and also go back and get those cutscenes that I accidentally skipped because of course I skipped the ones I can't re-listen to. Anyhow, until next time guys, take care, I'll see you all around. <laughs>